Ladies and gentlemen, Raiders owner Mark Davis has some shocking interviews coming up. The best Raiders coordinator could be on the move to a division rival. Plus, Devontae Adams flirts with the Jets. And interim head coach Antonio Pierce is getting offers elsewhere. Garrett Wilson, the first round pick wide receiver with the New York Jets, just changed his number. And this is huge news because he was originally number 17, Devontae Adams' number, and he has since switched his number to number 5. The Jets punter Thomas Morstead approved this and you have the two celebrating Garrett Wilson changing his number and apparently Garrett Wilson liked a tweet on social media saying and Devontae Adams will take 17. You also have Aaron Rodgers being asked about Devontae Adams coming to the Jets and all he can do is laugh. Now this week Garrett Wilson is switching from 17 to his college number of five. A lot of people are speculating that's because Devontae is coming to the Jets. Can you confirm that? <laughs> Ooh. We know there was a report by ESPN that came out earlier this year that said that the Jets will stop at nothing and not take no for an answer in acquiring Devontae Adams this upcoming year. Off season, trying to reunite Devontae Adams with Aaron Rodgers again. This is definitely an option, and if the Raiders are rebuilding, Devontae Adams would probably like reuniting with Aaron Rodgers. He didn't really sign up for everything that this Josh McDaniels regime threw at him, and you have this here. This is what this person claims. I don't know if it's entirely true. They claim that Devontae Adams liked this particular tweet and then unliked it, and what he did like was Garrett Wilson getting the new jersey number by Thomas Morstead. Who knows if he did really like this? This tweet. Either way, this is going to be something that's talked about all the way up until March. Antonio Pierce is on the mind of several Raiders fans. They're wondering, is he going to get the full-time job? But now we're hearing reports from people surrounded by the New York Giants. Sports Illustrated is reporting that Antonio Pierce is being considered to be the defensive coordinator of his former team that he did play for in the past, the New York Giants. So if Antonio Pierce does not get the full-time head coaching job from the Raiders, this is an opportunity that he can pursue and he could build his resume. Right now, he only has two years of head coaching experience as a linebacker coach and now partial interim head coach. This would allow Pierce to add defensive coordinator to his resume. You also have Carmen Brasillo, the current offensive line coach of the Las Vegas Raiders. He's going to be interviewed by the Giants. This is for sure. He is certainly being interviewed by the Giants as their offensive line coach. So you have Antonio Pierce and now Carmen Brasillo, Brasillo a little more so and a little more seriously being reported to be a part of the New York Giants staff with Brian Dable this upcoming season. The reason why you have all these people interviewing elsewhere is because Mark Davis and the Raiders gave the current Raiders staff permission to seek interviews elsewhere. They did not want to block them. They just want to be informed as to where they interview. This is sort of bad for Antonio Pierce because it shows that the Raiders are willing to let the staff that he would likely retain walk. One one of the big ones that might end up walking is Champ Kelly. Champ Kelly, the interim GM, is supposed to eventually interview with the Raiders for the full-time general manager job. But in the meantime, David Tepper, the owner of the Carolina Panthers who recently threw a drink on a Jags fan, this guy might be Champ Kelly's future boss because he wants to interview Champ Kelly as well. They've requested an interview with GM Champ Kelly for their vacant GM position. So the Raiders aren't going to be able to just grab Champ Kelly if they want want to, there is going to be some competition for him. Keep in mind, Champ Kelly was the guy who decided to promote Antonio Pierce to interim head coach. So if Champ Kelly moves on, this is also kind of bad for Antonio Pierce. What's really bad for the Raiders altogether is the fact that the LA Chargers are trying to rob the Las Vegas Raiders. The LA Chargers are looking at Patrick Graham. They are trying to acquire Patrick Graham, not as a defensive coordinator. They want to grab the Raiders' current defensive coordinator and make him their head coach. They've requested to interview him for a head coaching position. We know Patrick Graham took this defense that was doing poorly last year and really didn't have much money invested in them. And he was able to take this roster this upcoming season and make them one of the top defenses in the NFL and arguably one of the best Raiders defenses in the past 20 years. A lot of people are trying to give Antonio Pierce a lot of the credit for the defense, but Patrick Graham is the one calling the plays. He's the one strategizing on a weekly basis. And it seems like the Chargers think that he is responsible for a lot of the 
Raiders' success on the defensive side of the football, which is why they are going to interview him for their head coaching job. This creates a difficult situation for the Raiders because if they did keep Antonio Pierce, it's likely they're not going to be able to retain Patrick Graham since he's getting head coaching opportunities elsewhere. It makes you wonder, will the defense be as successful as it was this past year if they just had Antonio Pierce and no Patrick Graham? Mark Davis has his options wide open and it looks like he's going to head in several different directions and explore every opportunity possible, which is why he is trying to take some LA Chargers leftovers and interview Tom Telesco, the former general manager of the LA Chargers. This is huge news. So we have Champ Kelly interviewing with the Carolina Panthers for a GM position, and we have Patrick Graham interviewing with the Chargers for their head coaching position. And now we have Mark Davis interviewing GM Tom Telesco, and it seems like he's going to stick with his strategy that he suggested earlier in December when Mark Davis said that he would likely choose a GM first before a head coach. Hiring Tom Telesco or any GM and then letting them decide who is the next head coach seems like the likely route that Mark Davis is going to take. Chargers fans will likely mock this pursuit by the Raiders getting Tom Telesco. We know Tom Telesco along with head coach Brandon Staley were fired by the LA Chargers after the Raiders had their historic victory against the Chargers. But Tom Telesco has been with the Chargers all the way since 2013. The Chargers have not been a successful franchise as of late, but Tom Telesco has built some powerful rosters and it just seems like something always goes wrong with the Chargers, whether they have a bad head coach, whether they choke towards the end of the season or injuries. Injuries are usually the biggest problem with the Chargers, despite the fact that they usually have a decent roster. So I think this would be an underwhelming decision by Mark Davis. I don't think it would make the fans super stoked and pumped up. But overall, I still think Tom Telesco is totally capable of building a great roster. And at the end of the day, he is still one of the most qualified candidates available on the open market. In terms of head coach, one of the newest qualified head coaches on the open market is none other than Mike Vrabel. Mike Vrabel, his has recently been fired by the Tennessee Titans. They want to go in a completely different direction. Would you cut your dick off for a Super Bowl? Oh, been married 20 years. Yeah, probably. You Vrabel has been honored to be the coach of the year in the past. This guy is a talented person I think would fit well with the Las Vegas Raiders. You also have NFL insiders like Jordan Schultz who believe Mark Davis would be interested in a big name coach like Mike Vrabel. Hey, Mark Davis, the owner of the Raiders, likes the idea of a big fish type of hire. Mike Vrabel would be that in a big time way. If the Raiders decide to not go in the Antonio Pierce direction, this could be a good upgrade. He's still got a guy who's known as a locker room guy, a player's coach, but at the same time, he has much more experience than somebody like Antonio Pierce, but still fits a similar build as being a big time players guy. There has been no official interviews set at all in terms of the head coaching position for Mark Davis. There's just been reports from NFL insiders that Mark Davis will likely meet with Jim Harbaugh. That's the only person we know for now, Jim Harbaugh and Antonio Pierce, that Mark Davis will likely interview according to the top NFL insider. But in terms of GM, we know that there is interview requests with Tom Tom Telesco, and also Terrence Gray, the director of player personnel with the Bills. He is going to be interviewed by the Chargers and also by the Las Vegas Raiders. So in addition to Jim Harbaugh and Antonio Pierce, we now are able to see a different direction that Mark Davis could possibly be going in. Hiring a GM first, then letting the GM hire the head coach, and maybe somebody like Mike Vrabel, who's just come on the open market. And many people view Mike Vrabel as a great head coaching candidate. So yeah, doesn't sound as flashy as a Jim Harbaugh hire, or maybe not not exactly what all the fans in the locker room wants with Antonio Pierce hire, but I think this could still be a good move. Getting Tom Telesco as GM and also Mike Vrabel as head coach. We'll see if it happens. Time will tell. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think Mark Davis should do? How do you feel about what he's currently doing? Whoa, are you still watching at this point? If you're watching at this point in the video, even though you might think I'm an asshole, even though you might disagree with some of my takes, you must really enjoy this content. So please subscribe to help keep this channel going. I mean, you're watching this deep in the video, it only makes sense. My name is Wi-Fi Willie. Peace out, and I hope you have a good one.